Okay, day 15 on July 29th. Welcome back to more of This is the Police. As we continue on, we see City Police Chief not elected position, says Mayor Rogers. Mayor proves his commitment to nepotism. I don't think that's a good thing. Mayor Rogers, if my nephew wants to lead the police, I support him. Oh boy, well, let's just go to work. That's some shit you don't want to see in the morning, especially if you're the police chief. Almost seems like he's antagonizing. Hey, we got ourselves a strike. Well, I would love to go ahead and give it to one of my my officers, but I will have to give it to detectives. So, I'll give it to Bowling, since she's now running one of the detective cases. More experience for that, probably good for her. And while we're at it, too, let's see. Let's go, ooh, let's go with uh, Snagit. If Zeus, Jesus, and Buddha wrote a song together, it would sound like this. That sounds pretty good. The song will be available July 31st. Damn it. Well, oh well. This train. I love that song, man. Jack, keep up the good work and we'll make sure your final days at Freebird PD are much more comfortable. Oh, I guess I hired enough female cops. I had no idea, actually. He didn't pop up. <laughs> Alright. Considering certain events, we are obliged to grant some concessions to the feminists. You're, you want to make sure that at least half of the staff of the police station are women. You have three days. Well, that's already done. There you go. Let's go. <laughs> Why not? Ooh, suicide threat on the bridge. Taxi driver heard someone screaming and noticed a few people gathering on the bridge. As he was driving, he passed towards the port and stopped to see if anyone needed help. But as soon as he approached, he saw the man was threatening to throw himself and two children into the icy water below. Jason left us. Uh, I lost my job and the house, and there's no way we'll survive. It's better if everything just ends now. So the taxi driver looks like suicide. Crap. Samadhi. Take Grant, Birch, and Birch Jr. Yeah. yeah, that's bad. I, that's bad. Okay, breaking and entering. An elderly man speaking in a raspy whisper just before a break, and there's someone in the house. They're pounding on the door and marching all around downstairs. Hurry. Oh, Murata, Naquino. You got the good! I don't know. Trying to keep myself awake a little bit, excuse me. <laughs> yeah. Two tearful boys, clearly in a state of shock, are standing dangerously close to the edge of the bridge. Besides them, their drunken, distraught father slowly pushing the children closer to the precipice. Don't worry, everything's gonna be fine. Don't be upset. Tell me about your wife. Tell me about your heart. No, everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> Strong gust of wind almost blows one of the children off the bridge, but he recovers at the last moment and stumbles to the ground with a scuffed knee. Look, quit fooling around. These children have already suffered enough. The man slurs his words, saying there's no point denying the inevitable. Your children have their whole lives in front of them. You can't make this decision for them. Think about what you're doing. There's people who care about you. Uh, no. Just, you can't make that decision. There you go. And nothing of foolish bullshit. Alright, disorderly conduct. Uh, Secretary Abigail Jones told the police that uh, her boss, Martin Cabot, returned from the meeting in quite a state. When he entered, he took a bag of white powder from his safe and shut the door. Now he's yelling incessantly and making a scene, demanding that his secretary deliver him the head of a unicorn or he'll cut her throat with a letter opener and go after the rest of her family. Well, Robbins Adams, please take care of that. Oh boy, you know, if you're gonna ride the white pony, make sure you bring a good saddle. There's no exception, uh, there's no one except the dogs in the house. They were scratching at the door, but you want to go outside. Ooh, destruction. Church. Okay. Um, investigations. Detectives. Okay, you go back here. Close. Close. He's gonna just start to get the information on a young drunken biker who broke into the church, rolled around between the pews, and defiled the sacred crucifix and fled the steed. There we go. He's just gathering the information. There we go. We took care of that, and we took your cocaine. No 
some more cocaine for you. Bring it to the police station. I'm gonna make me some powder donuts. Alright, a member of the family was out at a restaurant having dinner with his secret lover, but because the affair was secret, he was light on protection. One of the Vargas agents was able to slip a grenade into the room. This is a job best handled by the police. Unofficially, of course. Well, the Birch Boys are gonna be going after it again. Birch, I want you here, but you're... You need to handle the girl. Stay in the machine. I see what you're doing here. That's bad. That's bad. There we go. Investigation started here. That's gonna be perfect for the next shift. So, investigations. We got archive it. And detectives back over here. There we go. Gather the information. Now, my next shift, shift B, will take care of that stuff. Right, so, well, they took care of that grenade problem. That's good. That's very, very good. Well. Lost the situation at a fatal, with a fatal casualty. Man wearing a suit walks into the lobby of the bank, locked the door, and proceeds to kill several customers. He never said a word. He just started firing at people. Reported one eyewitness, a dozen people remain inside the building, and the criminal's demands are yet unknown. Smadi, Murata, Adams, Grant, Aquino. Well, actually, Aquino, you stay home. SWAT. Need at least three people always here in case more of this Vargas War shit happens. And of course we got Robbins here who's just in the sidelines, so if they need backup, he's going so we can get rid of that little fiver. And there we go. I don't I don't like the little fives. I really don't. <laughs> I try my best always to make them like even so it's always a zero. I don't know why. I just do. Alright, a sweet girl named Anna is one of our key assets in a large accounting firm. She just got home from work and found her house was on fire, and the assholes that started it are still standing around admiring their handiwork. Wouldn't it be pretty if someone cracked open their skulls and tossed them into that flames? It sure would. Good thing we got the Birch Boys on, job. Yeah. <laughs> I can't talk. Stupid tongue. He always wants to keep coming out and saying hello. Hey, everything's fine. And he got his little five there. Good. Good, good, good. Alright, investigation should be coming up soon in about two hours in game. Hopefully we'll get enough information to make the case. Crack that case wide open. Birch Boy's coming back after a hard day's work. Hey, awesome. Oh, sweet. There you go. So, more or less, it's just, I think it's like this, then this, then this, and this. Bingo! Awesome, they gain more experience. Awesome, look at this. Bowling's gonna get some experience. That's awesome. William Holden, frequents at the local bars, repeat, repeated arrest for driving under the influence. And we got two spots. So, William's favorite place to tie one on. He's, he knows everyone at Kevin's Throat Bar. And then, of course, William's last known place of residence, but the information is only is over three years old. So, we're not going to go after that. We're going to go after his favorite place to tie one off. Robbins, Thick Aquino, and Swat. Aquino needs some more experience. Although, if I just waited ever so slightly, Birch Jr. could have been at the same level as Birch. I'm sorry. Oops. Maybe, maybe it would be nice and give Birch like two more, two more jobs, and then he'll be at the same level as Daddy. Hit run report, and we caught the scumbag. Boom! There you go. Yeah, she's now at four hundred now. I love that. So you know we got like three really good people. Now all we need is Delozar to be at the same level now. I love just making them all the same level and doing all that. So there you go. End the day. Sands are still in the lead. That's actually good to hear. Alright, well, my crew's here. Man, Birch. Man, he is just not doing well stamina-wise. That's bad. 
Oh well, I guess we'll just go ahead and end this. Uh, I really would like to keep Birch, but if he keeps this up and he doesn't show for work, he's gonna be gone. You know, <laughs> I, I make no, I, I hold no punches there. I pull no punches. So, gonna end this right here and just say hey, thanks so much for anyone watching. This is Police. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying this. Thanks again. Have a good one, and see you later.